Hey everybody, what's up? This is D from Brooklyn. How everybody doing? Good to see you again. I've been out of it a little bit, kind of busy. You know, other than taking care of our aquariums, you know, most of us have a little thing called a job. You know, that thing that pays for half the stuff that you got to put in there when your wife's not looking. But uh, yeah, I'm just coming back to give you a little update. First of all, Brooklyn Aquarium Society stuff. The new shirts are rolling off the presses. If you want any information on how to get some, send me a PM, private message, or check me out on Facebook, Brooklyn Aquarium Society on Facebook. Um, yeah, I like them. We had beautiful designs submitted for our Design the T-Shirt contest. This was the winner. Maybe I can swing around in the back. You can get a little touch of back logo there. But uh, yeah, if anybody wants some information on how to get a shirt or something, just check out our BASNewYork.org website or give me a shout out on our Facebook page. But anyway, other than the plug business, November 13th, we have our upcoming Brooklyn Aquarium Society meeting at the New York Aquarium. And the topic is going to be fish for the reef. So anybody wants some information on fish to put in a reef rather than just looking in the store and picking what's yellow or whatever the case is, uh, we're going to have a very good speaker there, uh, Mark De Niro. Very informative, very knowledgeable on the topic. So that is going to be November 13th at the New York Aquarium. If you need information on attending their meeting, once again, see me a PM or check us out on our Facebook page. Um, secondly, I'm going to give you an update that I got an update coming for the planted tank. Everything was brought in from outside, everything that I'm going to use. Uh, the plants that are still, like I don't have anywhere to put a lot of the plants I'm going to have uh, a lot of them I'm going to donate for the upcoming uh, club auction, which is the same day, November 13th, you know, so uh, give me a little information on what you want to do. If you're going to come to the meeting, I'm going to donate a lot of those plants because I just basically don't have the room for them. Um, so that's the second thing. So club business aside, uh, yeah, the tank's doing all right. I've been pretty dang on busy, but one thing I wanted to stop and make the take the time to make your video on is daylight savings time everybody spring forward fall back well I don't know about you but I forget until I start looking in the tank and things are dark at the wrong time you got to set those timers people if you got lights on a timer controllers on a timer dosers on a timer you got to remember maybe it doesn't matter to you maybe it does the seasons change the temperature changes the light cycles kind of affect everything in the house. I know when the lights go on and off, it throws, my tank is big, so it gets affected by ambient light. As you can see, I got ambient light where my tank is. You got to take the time to make sure all of those timers that don't have automatic daylight savings mode on them, like some controllers do. I know the Apex, some controllers have a daylight savings time setting where it'll automatically uh, facilitate that extra hour or whatever. You want to check your timers, make sure all of your timers are on the same time. I just checked mine. Uh, on, well, for me, I have a little different scenario because my lights have a control box with a timer built into them. So what happens is you have the timer for the lights on one setting, you have the timer for the tank on another setting. So go in if you haven't already, check those timers. That was my note for today. Check all of those little settings. If you have doses, set all of those. And uh, yeah, just I wanna thank you guys for watching my videos. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll also leave a link to our uh, Brooklyn Aquarium Society webpage and our Facebook page. So if you wanna come check us out, we always meet the second Friday of the month. We have gorgeous, awesome, knowledgeable speakers there. Once again, we leave that information on our Facebook page and on our website. So until next time, shh, homie got to get ready for work. So see ya.